Microsoft Word 2010, Creating a Document Index. Creating an index can be helpful for many different types of document. We often see them in things like cookbooks, where at the back of the book, there will be a list of all the ingredients and the pages on which they are referred. Well, we can create something similar in our business documents. If I want to go ahead and create a document, I must first mark all of my entries. So I'm going to come in here and highlight the word introduction. I'm going to go up to my references tab and I'm going to click the mark entry button in the index group of the references tab. When I do so, it grabs that text. It knows that that text is already selected and then allows me to go ahead and mark it. Now, if I wanted to create a sub-entry, I could. We're just going to make this a main entry. So I'm going to go ahead and click Mark. And if I wanted to create a cross-reference, I could do that as well. But that's marked. Now, what I might want to do is highlight the word Revisions. With Revisions highlighted, you'll notice that it still says Introduction. Until I click in the box, then it changes up to Revisions, and then I can choose Mark. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I want to show you a few things before we move on. Once you build in a reference or a marked entry, you get a little bit of code here that pops into your document. You can see that it says XE Revisions. And if I scroll up, I can see that it says XE Introduction. In order to see this, you have to have Show Hide Characters on, which is on your Home tab. If I turn the Show Hide off, then sure enough, I can't see. So I'm going to turn that back on. Now I'm ready to go ahead and actually add in the index. So I just went down to the end of my document by hitting Control end that's E-N-D, and now I'm going to go ahead and add in a page break. So I'm going to hit Control enter and by hitting Control enter I get a page break. Now I'm going to go back to my References tab and choose Insert Index. When I do, I can now say what type of index I want, or at least preview it. I can come in here and see if I want it to be one or two columns, the language, and I can modify it down here. We'll get to that in just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. And sure enough, I now have a simple index. And that's how we can mark entries and also create the index. Now let's go ahead and look at a few more in-depth features. So we've already discovered how to create marked entries and an index, but now what we're going to do is show you how we can do this in a quicker way, or potentially faster way. One of the things we can do is actually create an AutoMark file, and the AutoMark file will be used to find all of the words. So you simply create a simple document that has all the text that you want to search for and then the name that you would like it to display in the index. So what I'm going to do is go back up to my References tab. And from the References tab, I'm now going to go ahead and choose Insert Index. And I'm going to go down and choose Auto Mark. And by choosing Auto Mark, it actually goes and allows me to look inside my documents. And I have a file here called Index AutoMark Entry File. So I'm going to click that and click Open. What it did was it found the instances of the words I was looking for and it marked them. You'll see that there's a couple references here by Equal Opportunity Employment. And down here under our history, there are some as well. Well, let's look at how it did this. And you'll notice it marked throughout the document. What I first did was created a file called the index auto mark entry file. And you could call it whatever you want. But basically, this is a reference document that only works with the index function. I built a simple two column table. The column on the left has all the words that I was searching for in my document. The column on the right is how I would like them to display in the index. So together, this table tells Word what to look for and what to put into my index. So if I come back to my other file, and I'm going to go down to the end to look at my index, 
I'm going to right click on the field here. Now, the field is the index. My index comes in as a field, and I'm going to choose Update Field. And when I did, it actually found the other instances in here. And you can see the list is in alphabetical order. These are all of my references in alphabetical order. Notice that introduction is still in here, and that revisions is here as well, and those are the two I did up front, as well as all the other ones that I marked using the auto mark file. Now let's say I want a different style for my index. What I'm going to do is go up to the insert index button and choose modify. I can come in here and actually change the style on which my index is based. So if I don't want Georgia, I may want a different font. I'm using trebuchets for my heading, so I'm going to go ahead and say, let's use trebuchet. And I'm going to make it 12 point, because I want it to stand out a little better. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK again. And I can see behind here that it's actually taken effect. I'm also going to go down to one column instead of two. Because Word will allow you to have multiple indexes in the same document, in general we won't, it will ask you if you want to replace the selected index, and I'm going to say OK. And there is my new index. Still alphabetized, but now it's 12 point in trebuchet in one column as opposed to two columns. And that's how we can modify our index and also how we can use the automark entry file as well. Now, the other thing, I may want to change the actual text that appears. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and scroll up and find one of my references. And I know there's some up higher here. Here it is. So we have our history, and it says company history. Now, if I wanted to change it up and have it say something else, I can simply delete this out and then say espresso yourself. Now, I'm going to go back to the end of my document, click inside my index, and I can either right-click to update, or once you click inside your index, I can also come up to the Index group of the References tab and choose Update Index. And now, instead of saying Company History, it says Espresso Yourself History. And that's how we can use indexes in Microsoft Word 2010.